All right, so check out this video, Bill Simmons' podcast, where he noted that the Wizards tried to trade John Wall for Russell Westbrook and that the trade was being pushed by his own teammate, Bradley Beal. But check out the video first. They feel like they're close if they can win over the Harden thing. I had heard, I thought Westbrook was going to Washington. And I had heard that Bradley Beal, Wall. that oh, Bradley, Bradley Beal was driving it. No, no, that Bradley Beal oh. was driving a Westbrook thing and that they were actually going to include a pick potentially. And it wasn't just a one for one that they were yeah. actually putting in more. No, you'd have to put a pick in there. Cause what John Wall yeah. hasn't played in two years. Right. So, yeah. Dang. That's crazy. It'd be your own dogs. that would be sneaking you. Yo, I can't wait for this season to come back. And the Wizards are going to be a team to watch. Not because they're going to be a good team because they're going to be the most dysfunctional team there is. News flash to everyone, especially John Wall. Bradley Beal is the best player on your team. And that team is the Wizards. But John Wall doesn't know that. He still thinks it's 2017. But he needs to realize that Bradley Beal is just finished a season of averaging 30 points. And, he, and John Wall, he can only do that in your dreams, not even 2K. But in all honesty, everyone is sleeping on Russell Westbrook. Let's not forget, he was averaging a near point 30 point triple double before the NBA bubble. And then he got COVID in the bubble. Plus, he was here with a quad injury. Has there ever been a player become an all NBA type of player and receive no trade value? Let people forget, Westbrook made it all the all NBA's third team this season. Like, he's becoming super underrated. And if you could get him for cheap, do it. Don't be pussy, the Detroit Pistons. Don't be pussy, Atlanta Hawks. Loki, the Atlanta Hawks should have acquired Westbrook instead of getting Rondo and all that shit they did this season. Imagine Westbrook and a Trey Young backcourt. Because at the end of the day, you need stars to win, and that's how you win in the NBA. And Westbrook is still a star. Like he was injured in the bubble. Give my man some slack. But back to John Wall and Bradley Beal. And you know where they're finishing their season together as teammates. One of them is either going to get traded. Or if they do stick together, a fight is going to happen. And I mean a real fist fight is going to happen. Players don't bleed for a championship as much as you think. And like they don't want to like they want to win a championship on their own terms. Look at Westbrook. He wants to get traded so he could go back and doing what he did in OKC and averaging triple doubles. Rest in peace to Kobe. But he had a quote in 2011 about when he's going to retire. And he said, once I stop averaging under 20 points, I'm going to retire. That quote wasn't selfish, but it was Kobe saying that he's a 25 to 30 point scorer on any team. And if he's not doing that, then like he shouldn't be in the NBA. But yo, 90% of NBA players think that with the right coaching situation and the right like system, they could be a top 10 player. And that's facts. Andrew Wiggins thinks that in the right situation, he could be a top 10 player in the league. Even though that's fuckery, that's how they think because they have supreme confidence in their abilities. Plus, most of the NBA players were averaging 30 to 40 points a game in high school. So, like, even Patrick Beverly was averaging those numbers. And he, he could barely get 10 points a game in the NBA. So, they know how it feels to be the man on a team. But in all honesty, do the Wizards have to trade John Wall? Because I think they do. And if they don't, Bradley Beal is going to have to be traded. Or those two are going to throw hands in the locker room and see who is the best friend on the Wizards. But let me know.